Hello everyone and welcome back to Vlada's Place. This video is for all of you beginners at beekeeping and in today's video we're going to talk about uh, making very simple bee feeder. Well-fed bees mean healthy bees and as you learn more about the beekeeping, you will understand that throughout the year, there are parts of the year through which you will need to feed your bees. That time is usually in the winter. Mm -hmm. However, I live in California and every summer we experience extreme droughts. And this is another time when I need to feed my bees. Also, suggestion that I'm sharing today is geared towards small beekeepers. To start, I would suggest purchasing some of these glass rocks, which we will use as a base in our feeding dish. I like them a lot because I can wash them in between each feeding. We are also going to need a dish in which we're going to put these rocks and I'm using these pet feeders because they're stainless steel inside and they're super easy to wash and keep clean. When washing, make sure that you rinse the soap thoroughly out. I would suggest using a ceramic bowl or one of these stainless steel bowls. Both will work. But uh, in any case, before we set the rocks in these bowls, make sure that you rinse the soap out of the rocks really well. Also, I would suggest using a mild dish soap to rinse and wash these rocks in between feeding. Next step is draining the extra moisture out of the rocks. And you can do that by placing it on a towel or maybe paper towel and just let it dry for a little bit while we prepare the actual mixture. We are using these simple jars in which we're gonna pour the syrup, sugar syrup. And as you see, the lid uh, has a few small holes. And by the way, these are very small holes, so you don't want too much of syrup to leak. And then we're gonna add the syrup, which is half water, half syrup. Make sure that syrup is nice and cool before you pour it in the jars. Just fill your jars to the top, and if you end up having any extra, you can pour the additional syrup directly on the rocks in the dishes. But before we do that, let's set these glass rocks in the bowls. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn them all uh, because they have a flat side and then they have the round side. So I'm turning them all for the stability. I'm turning them all on their flat side. With that uh, in place, I'm just gonna rearrange them where I have this opening in the middle of a dish and enough of rocks on the edge of it on which I'm gonna place the jar. Now that we have that in place, we're just gonna pour some of this syrup in each bowl, which will be an incentive for bees to visit the feeder. Generally, I like to add a little bit more liquid, so you can just shake off a little bit extra liquid, and then you would place the jar in the center, and basically, you're done. This simple home bee feeder truly works, and what I love the most about it is that I can keep it nice and clean in between feedings. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Vlada Vladik, and I'm a founder of a charitable organization called Vlada Seeds of Life, whose mission is reconnecting families and communities. My YouTube channel was designed to be a positive and educational platform for all of us to learn together. If you're a big fan of living healthy and naturally, and if you believe that we all should work with the nature to create a healthier environment for all of us, I believe you would like our channel. And with that said, I would greatly appreciate you subscribing, sending us your comments, and giving us your thumbs up. In addition to my YouTube channel, I also produce a positive family program which teaches kids and young families how to cook, how to garden, and how to live closer to the nature. You can find out more about my charity and my work by visiting vladav.com. Thank you guys once again, and I'll see you soon.